most of you didn't clap is because you're not used to seeing this live. You're used to seeing it on TV, and when you see something cool on TV, you guys just do this. Oh my God, did you see that, man? All right, turn the channel. Yeah, live is different. When you see something cool live, you gotta respond. You gotta let people know they like it, Tucker. No, 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 we'll earn it. I don't want your pity. We will earn it, Tucker. You ready to earn some applause? Let's do what we do, Beast. Going up. Arms out. There you go. Okay, then. There we go. Now, Tucker, obviously they were not overly impressed. They had to think about it. We're going to have to take it up a level. Tucker, do you see your mother? Are you sure? I'm not getting in trouble again like last week. Do you see mom? No? Good. You want to do something dumb? Sweet. All right, buddy. Here we go. All right. Now, Tucker, do you think you can get these people to go absolutely insane? Of course. You think you can get them to scream and yell and cheer? Can you do it, Tucker? Tucker, do you see your mother yet? No, good, because if she catches us, she knows she's going to kill us. It was not my idea. <laughs> Stop blaming it on me. You participated. We're both guilty. Take a hand. You ready? Let's go. Let's go, beast. Stop. Oh, heck no. Oh! There you go, buddy. All right, come on down. Oh, crap. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tucker. I'm Brian. That's the start of the show. If you want to run in, sit down. You can sit right at the white lines, run through the center. We're going to show you some fun stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we do a show called Adrenaline Comedy. Adrenaline Comedy is an interactive show. That means sometimes we're going to need volunteers. You do not have to raise your hand to be a volunteer. It means when I yank you from the crowd, you come. I've made you a volunteer. Obviously, I just made some of you really uncomfortable. A moment ago, everyone was staring, and then people stopped look, making eye contact. We're going to need that special individual. We're going to need that kind of person that's going to draw me a crowd. We're going to need that kind of person that other people will come to see. I love that you were pointing at him. The girl with the puffy hair in the back that pointed at the guy in the red shirt. I want you. Come here. That's what you get for volunteering someone else. Come here. They'll make a path right here. There you go. Leave your purse. Leave your camera. I don't want you. I want her. <laughs> I'm going to teach her a lesson about volunteering other people. But apparently her hair is natural according to her shirts. What's your name? Crystal, it's nice to meet you. Come on over here, Crystal. I don't want you to be nervous. All right, Crystal. You look nervous. Crystal, are you scared of fire? Well, good. That'll be entertaining for these people. <laughs> Crystal, following directions is going to be really important to your personal safety and hair. That's all you have to say to a woman to make sure she's paying attention. Crystal, these are some different types of gasolines. This is a pile of torches. You're going to want to make sure you keep this torch down, out, and away from your body in your left hand. Good. Here comes another torch. Here comes a little bit more gasoline. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep this torch down, out, and away from your body. Also, in your... Right hand. Very good, left hand. I love smart people. You're doing a terrific job, you're a natural. Here comes another torch. Here comes some more gasoline. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep this torch down, out, and away from your body, in your... That makes no sense, your left hand is full. I thought that was gonna be an easier question. Right hand. Now, do you know why these people have stopped here today? They've stopped here today in a time-honored American tradition. They were tired of walking in their receipts. <laughs> it's how some of you got here today. Truthfully, a lot of them stopped here today hoping to see something dangerous. Honestly, most of them are Americans, meaning they're hoping to see something dangerous go terribly wrong. <laughs> these are the same people that watch the Spike channel. They're hoping today to see someone get beat up, someone get arrested in their underwear, and to see something flip over multiple times on fire. I hope you're not the last one, so take your clothes off and run. <laughs> Thank you.
One day someone's gonna do it, people. We're three blocks from the block. I'm gonna pick the right woman one night. Now, they wanna see something dangerous, so we're gonna play with fire. They wanna see something dangerous possibly go wrong, so we're gonna play with big fire and a nice breeze. In a moment, you're not gonna hear me speaking. You will know exactly what I'm telling you to do. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> That's right, if you thought that was funny, it's just seeing the people with the cameras. <laughs> Relax, I get you guys photos. Now, we are gonna set these on fire. We're gonna do it the easy way, though. We're gonna do it off my tongue, okay? All you have to do is follow directions. It's pretty simple. In a moment, I'm gonna set this fire once I'm fired out. I'm gonna tongue, I'm gonna fire once I'm fired out. I'm gonna fire once I'm fired out. Hold your arms in the air, send all three towards your fire once all three towards your fire. The people scream and applaud for you. Any questions? Okay. In case you missed anything, the cliff notes were light, dab, dab, lift, touch, applaud. Said it twice and you look confused. That's not good for me. Let's just give the warnings. Children and drunk people. <laughs> Hate to lump y'all together like that. Don't try this at. Oh. Your neighbor's house is fine. None of you are my neighbors. Children, I'm kidding. Drunk people, nobody can stop you. <laughs> now I'm gonna set this on fire. I'm gonna place it on my tongue. You'll see flames on my tongue. That means I'm on fire. That's your cue to light the torch off my tongue and get it away from my face. <laughs> Could you do me a quick favor? Could you get a facial expression that would make me feel comfortable? Because you've been looking at me like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You see, it's kind of breezy. That means I'm not gonna be on fire long. Do you know basic anatomy? Yeah, tongue's over here. <laughs> We're gonna need that wind to slow down a lot. <sighs> oh no, it lit a little here and a little there and some over there. No, I, I'm pretty sure a moment ago I was on fire. Do you know how I know I was on fire? because my face and my tongue hurts. <laughs> Do you know how I know you saw me on fire? You saw me touch that to me and the flames going like this. Do you know how I know you saw me do it? Because at the point I did it, you know what you did instead of moving your arm while I was burning! <laughs> you know what you did? You did this. <laughs> Which is why my face and tongue hurt and the torch isn't lit. So this time when you see me burning, you're going to go. Hey, a little bit later, I'm gonna get some dinner. You know, it'd be really cool if I could taste it. You thought I was asking you out, didn't you? You thought you were moving up from McDonald's to Subway. <laughs> moving on up. You ready? Here we go. You're gonna need that wind to slow down again. We need that wind to slow down a lot. <laughs> That's not even nice. <laughs> oh my god, he's a fuck. Oh, never mind. <laughs> really? Are you one of those smart people? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not kidding. I have trouble with smart people. Really, really smart people have trouble doing simple physical tasks because they overthink them. I understand you're probably nervous. I appreciate that. Maybe scared to hurt me. Let's look at this logically. Which is going to hurt Brian more? You consistently and consecutively watching me set myself on fire or you touching the unlit torch to my already burning face? <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> All good, the wind picked up. <laughs> Slow down, wind.
<laughs> Look, the wind wasn't gonna slow down. Commercials are six seconds for a reason. <laughs> Hold the other two up in the air. Light the other two. They're gonna go nuts. They're gonna scream. They're gonna yell. They're gonna cheer. All for you. <laughs> You're doing great. Don't move. Just relax. Just relax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Well, at least good thing for you, the fire department knows we're here. <laughs> All right, let me have the torch in your right hand. Okay, I got it, don't move. Okay. Now, split the other two torches. Put one torch in each hand. Spread your hands. Pose for photos. <laughs> good, let me have the one in your left hand. Okay, I got, wow! Oh, no, you're okay, you're okay. I know that's all your hair, but if you don't like it, you can buy some. Let me have the other torch. Now put your hands out in front of you. Up, all the way out, palms up. Yep, there you go. In a moment, I'm gonna juggle these behind you and over your head. I'm gonna let go of them in midair. They're gonna come over your head. They're gonna land in your hands. You are going to catch them, is that okay? Good. Now if by some miracle you happen to get to the white-ish side, I want you to hold tight. For all practical purposes, when the fiery end hits you, let go. Any questions? No? Good. Are you ready? Okay. I don't want you to be nervous. I'm a professional. The video said so, and I saw some of it. All right. Put your hands out there. No, don't walk backwards. No, don't walk backwards, dear. Put your hands out. You're okay. Switch your palms towards each other. Put them together. Put them together more. Everybody else give her a big round of applause, too. You're free to go to the bathroom that's upstairs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you see one of these flying towards you, it's because apparently she had a lot of hand gel on. <laughs> if you see one flying towards you, that's a mistake. You should run. For the smart people thinking, stop, drop, and roll, you waited too long to run. <laughs> if I set myself on fire, stop laughing, call 911. <laughs> this doesn't last long. <sighs> Clap now. <laughs> ah! Just kidding. How many of you guys want to see some big fire? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 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 I didn't offer you a balloon dog. <laughs> There's a lunatic willing to do crazy things for your amusement. How many of you want to see big fire? Yeah. <laughs> Always encourage a lunatic. If it goes well, you get to see something incredible. If it goes terribly wrong, you get to see something incredible on YouTube <laughs> over and over again. What you're about to see is one of the coolest props ever built. This is a jump rope. My jump rope's different than the average jump rope. Mine's soaked in gasoline. Yes, yeah, so if you're wandering by and you think you just heard what you heard, you heard what you heard. I have a jump rope soaked in gasoline. This means if you're a male, you want to get into a position where you can see. I'm not saying women don't like fire, I'm saying men love fire. Men love fire like they love women. They'll stare at both of them until one of them goes out. <laughs> if you feel it raining at the moment, that's probably not rain. It won't hurt you. I wouldn't light a cigarette during this portion of the show, <laughs> but it won't hurt you. To my knowledge, there are very few performers in the entire world that actually jump rope with the rope on fire. Oh, yep, some of you just figured out why there's probably not more of us. <laughs> it is really, really hot. To my knowledge, there's only one performer in the world currently jumping rope with the rope on fire while balancing on top of a two-foot ball. If you cannot currently figure out who this performer is, you suffer with many of your own issues. <laughs> this always puts me in the Christmas spirit. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. You guys want to see one more? Yes. No, no, no. You guys want to see one more you've never seen anywhere in the world at any time in history. You guys want to see one more? Yeah. There we go. All I'm going to need is one big, giant, strong individual. One big, giant, strapping man in a red shirt with his arms crossed, some sunglasses on. Dude, you didn't spend that much time lifting weights not to be seen. Come here, big man. There you go. Come on down. Perfectly safe. 
Oh wow, you look like you need like theme music. Like, oh, we oh, 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 oh. You a big man, what's your name? Kay, you don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, I've been burning with fire all day. Kay, we're gonna play with some things I think you're gonna recognize. Kay, are you married? No, good. We're gonna play with something you're gonna definitely recognize once you get married, okay? Here we go, Kay. <laughs> Now, Kay, we're going to treat our relationship just like a marriage. I'm going to tell you to do things. You're not going to question me. You're just going to do them. It's going to work well for both of us. We'll play with something a little bit simpler, though. Kay, we're going to play with something I think you're going to recognize, something you might remember from your childhood. Kay, what are these called? Don't play coy with me, Kay. You know those are straight jackets. Do me a favor. Grab the top one. Open it up. Think back to the last month when I met you the first time and get back in. I have one on the ground, I'm gonna do it too. There you go, doesn't that bring back memories? Yep, other arm in, here you go. By the way, I was kidding, get out of there. God, I love big people. <laughs> if I pick a little volunteer and I tell them to do that, you know what they say? No. You know what Kay's first thought was? Okay. <laughs> it's true, big people do not care. You can get them to do almost anything. Kay, you're gonna buckle me down for me. Hold on to this corner. There you go. Pull back on that corner, hold on to this corner, pull back on that corner. I want you to buckle those down from the top to the bottom. All of them work just like a belt. Pull the thing across, put the pin in, pull it back the opposite direction, put it through the metal hujama bobber, and it's locked. You're gonna do that for all of them. Now I promise to show you something you've never seen before anywhere in the world at any time in history, and this is not it. Anyone who has ever seen the Fox Channel has seen a straight jacket. So we're gonna go up one. I'm not gonna get out of one. What are you doing back there, dude? It's not working, it's a belt. You pull across, put the pin, and then go the other direction through that little metal hujama bobber thingy. You can... Yeah, there you go. If you get confused, just look down at your own pants. And then you're gonna work your way straight down. You're still on the top buckle. I I'm aware I can feel that. Usually I'm done the speech by now. What are you doing? Are you good? Are you sure? I don't think so. Now the next one should be faster. It's a lot like the first one, just not all the extra parts. Good. Now you feel like you're moving. You doing okay? Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a guy in Key, there's tons of people who do this, so I'm not gonna get out of one, I'm gonna get out of two. At the same time, there's a guy in Key West who does that, so we're gonna go up one more time. Not one, but two at the same time, while balancing on top of a two-foot ball. Some of you can't walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> Sir, are you doing okay? Good, because in a moment, you're about to find what I like to call the extra buckle, okay? As soon as you find the extra buckle, you're gonna start looking around for the extra strap. Yep, boom. <laughs> there you go. Now, you pull that as high as you want because I'm wearing a thong and two aren't gonna make a difference. <laughs> now I should tell you I had beans for lunch, so one bad pull is bad for both of us. Are you having trouble? Can you not see? I mean, is there an angle issue? Are you okay now? <laughs> Good, did you put it through the hujama bobber? Good, hold on to this. Hold on to this. Lock those together, that's what's gonna keep me in the jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Riddle. I'm a professional street performer. This is what I do for a living. I'm not paid by the city or the harbor. I work solely for the joy and appreciation of watching you hardworking people smile, laugh, enjoy my show, and put your hard-earned money into my hat at the end of the show. That's how I make a living. For those of you who don't know, the average tip in Baltimore is $20. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor, grab the other jacket for me. Open it up. We're gonna give the crowd two choices, the same way and backwards. The same way the way I'm wearing this one and backwards is the opposite. I'm gonna yell those out loud. They're gonna scream for the one they want. The same way. Okay. <laughs> backwards. Woo! Just open it up, I'll turn, yep, throw it over the shoulders. I'll spin towards you, you spin towards me. Now I can see what happened the first time. This one's gonna be easier, you've had practice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, most of you have never seen a live act. You have no idea how to tip. A couple of quick thoughts. If you went to the movies, it would cost you $10 per person per ticket for a show that was probably no good, and at the end, they don't care if you liked it or not. Your latte this morning cost you $5, lasted about three minutes, and then you felt guilty about it. Hopefully, my show was longer than three minutes, and I made you feel better than your latte compared to the $5. You, sir, have done a terrific job, and I want you to leave here tonight with a souvenir. Is that fair? I want you to go home with a memory. I want you to leave here tonight with something that has the potential to stay with you 
for the rest of your life. Do you remember the buckle from the back? <laughs> Enjoy your new memory. <laughs> you know, this is awkward. I'm gonna sing to take the attention off of you. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, if your kids get that joke, that is your fault. <laughs> Grab an arm for me. Grab the other arm for me. Make an X with them. Go around the back, lock them in. Perfect. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to do something for me. Just a really quick favor that's really important to me. I grew up outside of Baltimore. I've performed here for 17 years. I want you to look around real quick at all the people you're sitting with. I don't care if you're from Baltimore. I don't care if you're from Maryland. I don't care if you're in the United States. You're from somewhere else in the country, somewhere else in the world. I want you, when you leave here today, to go home and tell people what you did today. You came to Baltimore's inner city. You sat surrounded by every color and every everything under the sun. You watched a family-friendly show. You had a great time, and you did it safely in the middle of Baltimore's inner city. This is important to me, people. Now, um, I am either really good or you made an issue. <laughs> you made issue. Go around the back again. Yes, I don't care if you tie them in a knot. Do whatever you need to do to make them stay. Ladies and gentlemen on the back, if you could do me a quick favor so we don't get shut down, slide up to the white line right there. Yep, just slide up. What happens is you guys push back and strollers and wheelchairs can't get behind you. There's a little lip at the back. There you go, pull that nice and tight now. Yes, you got it, put the pin in. Tie it in a knot, I don't care. Do something that makes it stay. A knot, a swirl, a... You know this is the longest an act has ever taken? Yeah, but you're doing good. Are you, are you good, you got it? You're not sure? Oh dear Lord. What do you do for a living? Please don't say doctor. If you say surgeon, I'm never getting sick again. Are you good? Are you, oh my, what are you doing? Hey, video guy, we're gonna shoot this one again later. Are you good enough? You stay there, I'll be back in a second. Now. <laughs> it's a knot! <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you at this point. What do you do for a living? I am so curious. Publishing. Apparently no manuals. No instructional handbooks. Third time really was the charm. Beautiful. Throw me the ball, Tuck. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna go really slow with this next set of instructions. Come around behind me. Reach up under my armpits. On well, the count of three, I'm gonna jump. You're gonna lift, no matter what happens. You're not gonna let go till I ask you to, because I'm not gonna catch myself. <laughs> One, two, three, and forward, and forward. A little more forward. A little more, there, nope, 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 backwards. Not that backwards. A little more forwards, and forwards. And there we slide your hands down to my hips. Hips, hip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I thought we were dancing. He touched my hips. That was my fault. You're doing great. Hold on right there. By the way, how's the view? Yeah, you know you looked. Couldn't help it. It was just right there. You're doing terrific. You're a good sport. All right, I want you to keep your hands where they are. Loosen your grip. I'm going to roll away from you. Yep, just, no, no, I didn't say let go. I, you stay there. I'll move. Give him a huge round of applause. Thank you, good man. Ladies and gentlemen, if I come flying towards you and I look out of control, I'm out of control. Put your hands up. Protect yourself. Catch me. For those of you kind enough to put your children on the ground. Thank you. <laughs> when you're ready, scream, go. Go. I am, don't rush me. Go. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it, but I started. This is the difference again between TV and real. TV, one commercial break, it's over. In real life, it takes longer. <laughs> Do you ever feel like people are just staring at you, judging you? I feel this way all the time. It's usually when mom's at the show. I feel like she's looking at me going, God, why couldn't you be normal? <laughs> That's not funny. I got a microphone in my nose. 
I'm not waving at you. <laughs> Trying to get slack. <laughs> All right, women and children, close your eyes. Close your eyes. What are you staring at, dude? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know what was up with that. Wow, you were not bashful on this strap, big man. That thing is up there. I want everybody to chant for 10 seconds. Go Brian! 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 Alright everybody, this one's for you. <laughs> you know he's looking. He can't help it. It's hypnotic. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for me, buddy. Oh. You know you were still looking. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Rudo. If you guys enjoyed the show, I greatly appreciate your tips. If you didn't enjoy the show, I greatly appreciate your tips. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time. The hat's in my hand. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy Baltimore. Thank you.